In this video, you'll learn what is gearbox, types of gearbox, its construction, working, and more. The transmission ward is used for a device that is located between the clutch and the propeller shaft. It may be a gearbox, a torque converter, overdrive, fluid drive, or hydraulic drive. The purpose of the transmission is to provide high torque at the time of starting, hill climbing, accelerating and pulling a load. When a vehicle is starting from rest, high torque is required at the driving wheels for climbing a hill. Hence a device must be provided to permit the engine crankshaft to revolve a relatively high speed, while the wheels turn at slower speeds. This is enclosed in a metal box called gearbox. The vehicle speed is also changed with the help of the transmission, keeping the engine speed the same with a certain limit. Now let's find out the different types of gearbox that are used in modern vehicles. They are Sliding mesh type gearbox 2. Constant mesh type gearbox 3. Synchro mesh gearbox and 4. Epicyclic gearbox. Now let's see these types and details, starting with sliding mesh type gearbox. It is the simplest type of gearbox. The arrangement of gears is in a neutral position. The clutch gear is fixed to the clutch shaft and remains always connected to the drive gear of the counter shaft. Three gears of first speed, second speed, and reverse speed gear are also rigidly fixed to the counter shaft which is also known as lay shaft. Two gears mounted on the spline main shaft which can be slided by the shifter yoke when the shaft lever is operated. The gears are connected to the corresponding gears and a reverse idler gear is fixed on another shaft and remain connected to the reverse gear of the counter shaft. When gear is in neutral position, the engine power is not transmitted to the rear axle. The clutch gear is transmitting the power to gear on the counter shaft, and it further not transmitting line power to the main shaft. Therefore the output of the gearbox is disconnected with input for the gearbox. In a neutral position, the clutch shaft gear is engaged to the counter shaft gear. Other gears are free, and therefore the transmission main shaft is not rotating. By operating the gear shift lever, the larger gear on the main shaft is moved along the shaft to mesh with the first gear of the counter shaft. In first speed gear, the main shaft and the clutch shaft both rotate in the same direction. The clutch shaft turns three times for each revolution of the main shaft. By operating the gear shift lever, the larger gear of the main shaft is disengaged from the first gear of the counter shaft and then the smaller gear of the main shaft meshes with the second gear of the counter shaft. In second speed gear, the main shaft and the clutch shaft rotates in the same direction. By operating the crankshaft lever, the second gears of the main shaft and counter shaft are disengaged, and then the second and top gear of the main shaft is forced axially against the clutch shaft gear. In third speed gear, the external teeth of clutch shaft gear mesh with the internal teeth in the second gear and top gear. Reverse gear. By operating the crankshaft lever, the larger gear of the main shaft meshes with the reverse idler gear. This gear is always in mesh with the counter shaft reverse gear. Interposing the idler gear between the counter shaft reverse gear and main shaft bigger gear, the main shaft turns in the direction opposite to that of the clutch shaft. This changes the rotation of the wheels from forward to backwards, so because of that, the vehicle moves in backward direction. Constant Mesh Gearbox In this type of gearbox, all the gears of the main shaft are in constant mesh with the corresponding gears of the counter shaft. The one sliding dog clutch is placed in between the clutch gear and the second gear, and the other is placed in between the first gear and reverse gear. All gears are free on the spline main shaft. Dog clutch slides on the main shaft to rotate with it. 
All the gears on the counter shaft are fixed with it. When the left hand dog clutch is made to slide to the left through the gear shift lever, it meshes with the clutch gear and the top speed gear is achieved. When the left hand log clutch meshes with the second gear, the second speed gear is obtained. Likewise, by sliding the right hand dog clutch to the left and right, the first gear and reverse gear are obtained. In this type of the gearbox, all the gears are in constant mesh, they are safe from being damaged and unpleasant grinding sound does not occur while engaging and disengaging them. Synchromesh Gearbox The modern cars use helical gears and synchromesh devices in the gearboxes that synchronize the rotation of gears that are about to mesh. This eliminates clashing of the gears and makes gear shifting easier. The synchromesh gearbox is similar to the constant mesh gearbox. It is provided with a synchromesh device, by which the two gears to be engaged are first taken into frictional contact, which adjusts their speed after which they are engaged easily. In most of the gearbox, the synchromesh devices are not fitted to all the gears. They are fitted only on the top gears. In some case the first gear and reverse gear do not have synchromesh devices, because they are intended to be engaged when the vehicle is stationary. Epicyclic Gearbox In epicyclic gearing, at least one gear not only rotates about its own axis but also rotates bodily about some other axis. This types of gearbox are the most widely used automatic transmission system. In this system, there is only accelerator and brake will be provided. So there will not be any clutch pedal or gear lever available on the vehicle. Construction of epicyclic gearbox. It has an epicyclic gear arrangement. It has three gears, classified as sun gear, planet gear, and ring gear. The sun gear is mounted on the sun gear shaft. The planet gear is mounted on the planet carrier, and the ring gear is mounted on planet carrier shaft. The ring gear has the internal gears which are meshes with planet gear to rotate with it. In epicyclic gearbox an arrangement of locking gear, if one gear is locked remaining two gear will be act as input and output. For example, if the sun gear is locked the ring gear and planet gear act as input and output members. This typical arrangement will be available of locking the gear at the same time and taking the output power from any one gear and giving the power input to any gear. The speciality of this particular epicyclic gearbox is we can achieve a wider variety of variation in the speed. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you've liked this video then please share with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more engineering content.